Hey everybody, welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Happy holidays from all of us to all of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Hit the like button if you like it, and hit that bell notification if you want to know when we put out new videos. Now let's go see the Tired Old Queen at the Movies, Steve Hayes. Sean, come on in. Whoa. Oh, Johnny, Merry Christmas. This year I thought we'd do a light romantic comedy, so I chose 1949's Holiday Affair with Robert Mitchum, Janet Lee, Wendell Corey, and Harry Morgan. Now, this is a sweet little romance that was basically used to soften Mitchum's image after he got arrested for marijuana possession and went to jail in the late 40s. That's so. all. Case dismissed. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. So Janet Lee was just coming up in her in movies, and so they paired the two of them together for this little thing. When I was a working man, before you came into my life, I used to eat with the boys. But now I somehow just don't feel they want me. The basic plot is this. She is a comparative shopper. So what she does is go to all the department stores, pick one item, and see which one is the cheapest. Then she reports back to the store she's working for, and they lower it even more so they get more business, which was illegal at the time. Mitchum has a part-time job at this one store. He takes one look at her. She's scoping out an electric train. And she pretends to buy it, and he knows what she's doing. And... He's on to her. She takes the train home and her little boy, she's a single mother. Her husband died in World War II, so she's raising this kid. And they're sort of, sort of the two of them against the world. And they don't have a lot of money. And he, like little boys do, goes in and opens the package and sees he's getting this train. Hey. She's got to take it back the next morning and return it. Well, when she does, Mitchum says, um, I can't do this. You're, I know what you're doing, and you're a comparative shopper, and that's illegal, and i got to turn you in, and no store's going to let you come in anymore. And she goes, I'm trying to support him. I'm a single mother. Hazard of the profession. You're going to be a spy. you got to expect the firing squad. And he's kind of got the hots for her, so he lets her do it. Well, the store fires him, so he's out of a job suddenly. I got fired. Oh, no. Because of me? I was supposed to turn you in. It's a rule, you know. Oh. And she feels bad, so they start seeing each other. Now, she's being courted by this guy, Wendell Corey. I'll do it again. Hmm? Oh. Oh. See what you do to me? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> this is an unusual aspect of this story because Wendell Corey is the nicest guy in the world. And we're going to go home be sure Timmy's asleep. And you and I are going to sit on the sofa and neck. Oh, is that what married people do? Mm. Usually the guy who's the other man is sort of a schmuck, you know, and you go, oh, yeah, well, Robert Mitchum. Well, Mitchum is great and he's cute, but he wants to design boats and he's kind of the bad boy, you know. The landlady said to keep the door open. Let's worry her, huh? But uh, let's not worry you. And Wendell Corey is just funny, and he's stable, and he's real, and he just loves her, and she doesn't have it for him. I'll wait five minutes. If you don't find more interesting company, we still have a date for dinner. You're a wonderful fellow, Carl. Things get all messed up in the plot, and they get pulled into the cops, the police court. And the, the sergeant in charge of the police court is Harry Morgan. Harry Morgan was your quintessential character actor. He started out in the 40s. He hit it into television. He had like 11 Emmy nominations. He was a regular on MASH. Nobody got more, directed more episodes of MASH except for Alan Law Alda than Henry Morgan. He had a dry, wry wit. He was on Dragnet for years, you know, he always had this thing. And he could play comedy, he could play sinister, he could play westerns, he could play gangsters, he could do anything. He was just, and in this one, he's so funny. Is a mother and father to an orphan squirrel. You don't think this guy's a suspicious character? So it's really, really funny. It's sort of like uh, it's sort of like the judge at the end of Miracle on 34th Street. And, you know, they kind of took the idea from that. But it really, really works. Janet Lee was discovered by Norma Shearer. Uh, her father was working the desk at a ski resort. And Norma Shearer and her husband, Marty Arouge, who was a ski instructor, were there. And they saw Janet's picture. And she said, oh, she's a pretty girl. 
Can I borrow this picture? Like, you won't believe this story. She took it back to the studio and MGM signed her to a contract. And the next thing she knew, she was a, an actress. Janet Lee was a really underrated actress and really, really good. She was a trooper. She did everything. She did medieval pictures. She did comedy. She did musicals. And an orchestration for the syncopation with a real sensational beat. And she married Tony Curtis and she put up with him for a while. <laughs> And they had two kids, and one of them was Jamie Lee Curtis. She's a great gal, just a great gal. Mitchum did these movies. He was just, he's his laconic self in this. He's hes sexy as all get out. And he's wonderful. He never got a chance to do light comedy, and he's really, really good in it. I was feeding a squirrel. He's an orphan. He depends on me. He has a scene where uh, she has Wendell Corey and her family over for Christmas dinner and they're sitting around and Wendell's looking at him like, what are you doing here? And Mitchum's looking at him going, I got news for you. And they go to give a toast and Mitchum stands up and proposes marriage to her. The way I figure it, when a man's in love with a girl, he's got a right to ask her to marry him. Any girl. Anybody's girl. Well, you know, it's like in, you know, the 50s, you know, the women love the bad boys. Girls, the bad boys, girls. But he's really, really sweet. And, um, <laughs> boys. Is that so? And Wendell Corey is wonderful. Wendell Corey, his first role in movies, he'd done Broadway, and his first role in movies was in, in sort of gay character that he plays as a hitman in Desert Fury. And then he went on to be, he's wonderful in Rear Window. He's, you know, the, he's the sidekick of Jimmy Stewart who doesn't really believe that he's seen anything across the courtyard. He was good leading man. He was up in the Furies with Barbara Stanwyck and violent Thelma Jordan with Stanwyck. He was good. He was always good. He later went into television, but he had a terrible drinking problem. And that did him in, in his early 50s. But here he just is really oh, sweet. Don't forget the day you hired me. There I was, sitting at the agency with all the other girls. I was afraid you were going to take Evelyn. <laughs> you're sitting there going, yeah, I love Robert Mitchum, but you're such a nice guy. And I, one of, that's one of the things I love about this movie. It, it, it seems like it's going to be predictable, but it's not. And it's sentimental. It's Christmassy. And I think you're just going to think this is the sweetest movie in the world. So Merry Christmas from all of us at Steve Hayes' Tired Old Queen of the Movies. And please sit back and enjoy Holiday Affair with Robert Mitchum, Janet Lee, Wendell Corey, and Harry Morgan. Let's Happy Holidays, folks. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Jenny, Merry Christmas. This year I thought I would do a light, romantic Christmas, romantic, light holiday. <laughs> Oh no, I'm tired. Oh, no, no, you haven't, you haven't, you haven't. No. I'll just sit down. <laughs>